Alrighty, hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a soccer's uh, vlog. <laughs> I am your host for today, Mad Dog, and uh, I've got quite a bit I want to go over with you guys. But uh, don't forget guys, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell, take a buy that like button, and please, please, share the content. Help us expand the Psychers universe. Get that jargon out of the way, but please, do, do share us, you know, that helps us out a lot. But... Um, yeah, uh, first off, I uh, want to say that uh, MizumiCon is going on this weekend, tomorrow, uh, April 6th, here in San Antonio. Uh, I will be attending that. I uh, don't know if y'all remember in the last one, I won two free tickets, so I'm going to take me and uh, my friend Erica, so uh, we're going to be out there. Uh, I'm going to be dressed up as Scooter from Borderlands. Catch a ride! We're all on the hype for Borderlands 3. Oh, yes. Guns with legs. That was my favorite part of that video. <laughs> that and Brick on the saxophone. Oh, uh, that. I, I actually like the new look. I wasn't sure how I was feeling about the updated graphics, but they did a good job. So I'm, I'm, I'm okay with this. They kept the shell shading, but they upped the ante on it. So I'm, I'm good with that. So, yeah, I'm going to be there, obviously, going as a uh, scooter. So... If you happen to be at Mizumi Con, uh, come come find me. You know, I'll be have the bright yellow jacket. You know, you you can't miss me. But uh, wanted to get into uh, what should we call it? Uh, I was planning on uh making a new weapon for my cosplay uh of there. Unfortunately, some things got in the way. wasn't able to work on it last weekend and this week. At work was just kind of a nightmare so I've been getting home late I even had any time and then Borderlands 1 remaster dropped so I wanted to join the rest of the slackers since uh, we don't all get on together very often <laughs> so I wanted to join the guys for that so since we're all hyped for Borderlands 3 so uh, yeah so but um, I'm going to be bringing uh, a new new content to the channel uh, bringing up that point uh, I'm going to be working on my cosplays, uh, so I got me a little tripod thing here to uh, for my phone, so I can stream directly to uh, YouTube whenever I'm doing that, and y'all can see me working on stuff. I'm going to call that segment uh, Chrono's Workshop, so, you know, I think, or Chrono's Armory, something like that. I think Chrono's Armory, yeah, I, I like that name better, so Chrono's Armory. Uh, and what we're going to be doing is, first thing we're going to do on that is, this is the gun I wanted to do. Oh, uh, please don't. I'm not sure if y'all can see that real well. Of course, my lamp's reflective light. But we're going to be doing that legendary weapon. And we're going to be uh, using this nerf gun. We're going to transform this ginormous thing into that gun i'm gonna have some leds wired into it it's gonna light up and everything just like my other gun does that i made for scooters uh gun and yeah so it's gonna be the legendary volcano um and i have another gun over here i was considering using this nerf gun but i think we're gonna leave this one be for now and we'll do like an electric uh type sniper rifle at a later date or something for that one but this one matched up better i mean it's a lot bigger than i wanted to do a gun with but screw it i'm gonna do the big blade on it and everything so it's, it's gonna look nice so so yeah uh definitely going to do that and uh also wanted a big shout out again to uh what's it? otaku cafe uh it's an anime store slash hangout kind of place so uh if you live in San Antonio or you come to San Antonio, Texas, uh, look them up and go go over there and hang out, guys. It, it's it's really a chill location. They got all the anime, all the cool like stuff like that on one side. Birch, they have an area for working on your models or playing you know games and stuff. They got a TV. They usually have anime playing on the TV, so that's really cool. And then they have another section of the store that's all these cool arcade machines. So. <coughs> Definitely go check that out because that, that's really awesome. And every – they started doing this uh, is a group that asked them. Every 
third Saturday of every month, if I'm remembering that correctly. Uh, they have a car show, and uh, a bunch of the guys there have like kind of like anime, kind of, uh, or at least the one that I went to uh, had like anime style kind of like paint jobs and stuff like that. It's a new car show, so it's not super big yet. So if you're into cars, you know, go over there, check it out. Once my car do is done, aka Sonic, the MR2, I will definitely be hitting that shop up in, on those Saturdays. And you can check me out over there, check out my ride, see how it looks. Uh, I'm definitely going to be posting a video about that. A uh, little update on that. My engine is being rebuilt. Uh, finally got the last of the parts in. Uh, so by next week, they should have it fired up. And if everything's running okay, uh, just a few like modifications and like uh, wiring issues that I needed uh, fixed. And then it goes over to the wrap place and I should have it back. I'm hoping, fingers crossed, I will have it back by um, the anime show that's supposed to happen this month at that at Al Taco Cafe. But if if I don't, then you know the following month I'll for sure have it. And um, so yeah, so big shout out to I can never pronounce their name properly, but I will try. Uh, Yoko Kazuku Motorsports. Uh, that's their, oh god, come on, that's their name, that's their number, so go check them out, uh, they're, they're awesome, uh, they've done really good work on my car, so if your car person needs some place here in San Antonio, they do a great job, and then they have a powder coater they deal with, and a vinyl guy to wrap your car if you're, if you're looking into doing something like that, so, so yeah. Uh, all that's coming together nicely. Uh, yeah, so like I said, new content to the channel. I'm going to be starting to work on my cosplay stuff now that I have uh, money to be able to do that. And really excited to finally be going back to conventions again. So I'm uh, going to start going to that one. We'll see what other ones I can hit up. And what else? There was something else. There's some new some new uh things coming to the channel on my end at least that uh I plan on doing very soon so uh new games and stuff like that new playthroughs so look forward to those guys um and yeah uh pollen is killing me <laughs> so sorry if uh <clears throat> my voice sounds kind of raspy and all that but can't be helped but I look forward to seeing any of y'all at the convention if y'all end up going. And, uh, yeah, I'm still doing first five fans I see at a convention. Uh, I will be giving you a free uh, Slackers in the Cover t-shirt. You know, I'll just need your, your, your address and all that. I'll get that info from you at the convention so that way I can... I'm not going to just buy a bunch of shirts and have different sizes. So it's going to be to order, and you can choose... Uh, I'll... I'll get with bunny to see which designs we have up at the time because i know he's making some new ones now he's making a shirt specific one for me so that's cool uh and you know i'll just see which one you want of the shirts that are available and you can choose from there but but yeah guys uh really looking forward to uh, a bunch of cool new things coming this way to the channel and uh funny things in my life uh falling together nicely so so yeah I think I covered everything now, so yeah, that was it. <laughs> Alrighty, guys, uh, thank y'all for joining me, and hopefully, I get to see some of y'all at MizumiCon. So, this is Mad Dog signing off, and we'll see you next time, Slack Underground. <laughs>